If you are using TikTok, you are helping China destroy America. Christy Nome, the God-fearing, gun-loving governor of South Dakota, wants you to get off TikTok right now. But stick around just this once to hear all about this government official who supports two-year-olds owning rifles. Nome's rise to the top started in 2007, when she won a seat in South Dakota's House of Representatives. Her tenure in the legislature was marked by making it easier to purchase and own guns. I may be a mom and a grandma, but I am the NRA. Little Miss Addie, who is almost two, and Branch, who's just a few months old, they have brought us so much joy. Now Addie, who, you know, soon will need them, I want to reassure you, she already has a shotgun and she already has a rifle. In 2010, Noam ran for South Dakota's lone U.S. House seat. She won the Republican primary and faced Democrat Stephanie Herseth Sandlin in the general election. A big issue for Noam throughout the election was her driving record. It includes 20 speeding tickets, three stop sign violations, two seat belt violations, no driver's license, six court notices for failure to appear, and two arrest warrants. After expressing remorse for her atrocious work behind the wheel and pledging improvement, Nome's constituents surprisingly sympathized with her longing to enforce laws that she struggled to follow. Nome won the election and then probably very dangerously drove to Washington, D.C. How many of you have gotten into your vehicles before and have started driving down the road and your vehicle's just not working right. It drives kind of jerky and it's something stiff and it's not turning right and you're just frustrated and you can't figure out what is wrong with your car and then all of a sudden you realize that you've got your emergency brake on. But she got to D.C. in one piece and served four terms in the U.S. House where she tried to make life harder for the poor folks in her state. Nome supported Paul Ryan's Medicaid plan, which would have resulted in a significant 55% reduction in coverage for program recipients. After her stint in the U.S. House, she ran for governor of South Dakota and won, making history as the first woman to hold that office in the state. And then she won re-election in 2022. Her time as governor has been marked by signing extreme anti-abortion bills into law, pushing for weaker gun regulations, reportedly spending nearly $70,000 of taxpayer funds on expensive rugs and a sauna for the governor's mansion, and reportedly using the power of her office to give her daughter preferential treatment while she was applying for a real estate appraiser's license. One of the notable highlights from Nome's governorship so far has been an awareness campaign she launched titled Meth. We're on it. Meth is not someone else's problem. It's everyone in South Dakota's problem. And we need everyone to get on it. I'm on it. Surprisingly, the slogan wasn't concocted by Cousin Greg and Tom Wamsgams, but by the governor of South Dakota. With Nome's support, South Dakota paid a whopping $449,000 to get the word out that, uh, they're all on meth? And if that wasn't bad enough, after the death of Henry Kissinger, a guy responsible for genocide, countless wars, and millions of deaths, Noam suggested that we honor his memory by quoting him to your kids while driving around. And I hope that everyone's reaction to his passing is to go learn a little bit more about him that you didn't know before. Uh, around your dinner table or when you're driving in the car with your kids, tell them a few Kissinger co quotes. Yes, while you're speeding and seemingly blowing past stop signs, it's always a good idea to look at your children in the rearview mirror and recite to them famous Kissinger quotes like, To me, women are no more than a pastime, a hobby. Nobody devotes too much time to a hobby. And the illegal we do immediately. The unconstitutional takes a little longer. And I refuse to believe that a little fourth-rate power like North Vietnam doesn't have a breaking point. Kids love hearing all that stuff. It's like, uh, bluey, kinda. Nome's future path remains uncertain, but there's speculation that she might be eyeing a role as Trump's running mate. In an interview with Newsmax, she expressed eagerness to join his ticket, stating she'd do so in a heartbeat. 